What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great Tuesday. But I've got a little bit of news for you. We are not live right now. I know you're all antsy for that initial injury report coming out today. I will be live around 5 o'clock today. Right now, uh, this news just came out about a half hour ago. Got home. Try to make this as quick as I could. So we're going to talk about the recent signing by the Eagles. The Eagles did go ahead and sign Tyree Cleveland. So we're going to talk about that briefly here. I'd love to hear your thoughts. you have any questions, comments about this signing or whatever's on your mind, I'd love to hear it. But right now, again, we are not live. So you can leave a comment. We'll talk some birds. If not, join me live later for that injury report. But let's jump into this. Let's talk about Tyree Cleveland being added to the Eagles practice squad. We talked about the fact that the Eagles had an open practice squad spot. You can elevate players an infinite amount of times during the playoffs. Uh, so you can only do that two guys per week, though. So we'll see. He brings uh, some things to the table. So let's talk about that. Let's take a look at Tyree Cleveland. Get to know this young man and why the Eagles added him to their practice squad. Now, he is in his third year in the league, 25 years old out of Florida, 6'2", 209 pounds. He was a seventh round pick, pick number 252 in 2020. And uh, look, he is definitely a depth piece. There's a reason he's on the practice squad. He is not on the active roster. It's not like this is a major signing where everyone needs to lose their mind. Uh, he hasn't even started a game. He has played in 23, though. He has eight catches. I believe it was 17 targets, 91 yards, 11.4 yards per catch, only four yards per game, no touchdowns. But he has returned the ball 12 times, kick returns, 252 yards there, 21 yards per return, his longest being 31 yards. Hasn't coughed the ball up, though, and has not scored. But, uh, again, limited opportunities, and you never know in the right system what that could do for someone. And, you know, he brings something to the return game, so maybe they're just looking out, making sure we don't have anyone that can really do that that brings anything explosive. Greg Ward can do it, but, uh, hey, I don't know. Whatever they saw in the trial, bringing this young man on to the practice squad, we'll see if they even elevate him on game days. But it's nice to, you know, better be safe than sorry. So if they like what they see, maybe he gets a chance this all season. Who knows? But uh, let's take a look at that Eagles practice squad now with uh, this young man added on Tyree Cleveland here. So you see that we've got nine guys on the offense and then eight on the defense. You're allowed 16. We have 17 because of Matt Leo on that player exemption program. But you see now we've got Devin Allen, Tyree Cleveland and Greg Ward as receivers. Cleveland and Ward bringing some return capability there. Then you've got a few linemen there. You got Johnson and Johnson, Opeto, Robinson. Then you got Noah Togiai as a tight end. Cameron Tom there as well, offensive lineman. And then you've got some defensive backs in Sasha Ray, Goodrich, Harris. I could see one of those guys being possibly elevated until Maddox comes back. And then you've got Mac McCain there also on the line. You've got yourself Teron Jackson and Marvin Wilson, Matt Leo being that exemption. And then, of course, you've got yourself Davian Taylor there as linebacker. So that is the updated Eagles practice squad now with Tyree Cleveland added on. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this signing. You know, obviously, this isn't some kind of major signing, but let me know how you feel. Maybe you're a Broncos fan. Maybe you're a Florida fan. You know something about them. Let me know in the comments down below. Would love to hear your thoughts. But I will be back later live talking about the initial injury report for the division round between the Eagles and the Giants. So I hope to see you then. But until then, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is on the road to victory. You all have yourselves a great day. Stay safe out there. And as always, go Birds!